Hey everybody, I'm Melanie and today I'm going to be doing another Prosling Tees unboxing video for you guys. Um, I haven't done one in a while, but I decided to do one now since my stuff actually just came in yesterday. So I'm filming this video the day after. I'm not going to have another video uploaded after this for I don't know when my next video is going to be to be honest. Because my schedule is going to be really crazy and hectic, but... You know, we'll see. Uh, so let's get started with this. I've been doing a lot of my videos where I kind of just show you guys the items like on my bed right here. I'm actually kind of liking it like that a little bit better than me just like holding it and showing you guys kind of like all awkwardly all over the place. So most of this video is just going to be me showing you guys the stuff on my bed more than showing you guys all around. So. Yeah, I'm just you guys can see it a little bit better than me just holding it, but I'll tell you what it is first before I even show it to you guys on here. So yeah. <laughs> this is for Shingo is Rampage Dragon. So I'm gonna show you guys it a little bit closer. Up close here, Rampage Dragon. With his mask that he wears to the ring. The logo there on the back. And the print on here does feel kind of rough too, like it's, it's not like, it's printed on the shirt, yeah, but it has like a rough feel to it, if you guys can hear it. Um, so I guess I would just be careful when you wash it to make sure that, hey, this, I don't think it'll crack because I've not, I haven't had my shirts crack before. But I'm just saying just to be careful with it because I feel like it might do that. I'm not 100% sure. I'm just, I'm just being cautious about it. And if it looks like the camera is like in a different angle too, it's because I'm moving the camera from here to showing you guys over here. So if you're like, the camera looks like it's a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right, I'm sorry. Um, and if the lighting changes because of that, I'm sorry. But um, he was really cool to watch live finally in New Japan when I went in September, so... I always thought he was pretty badass to be honest so that's why I wanted his shirt and this is the one that I liked the most because his mask was on it so that's the main thing why I decided to get it. <laughs> this is another Jay White shirt that I got. It has switchblade arrow on the front here and then it also has a skull right here on the bottom and then I'll show you guys it up close. Here's it a little bit closer, it says switchblade arrow the skull supposed to be his face pretty much with the switchblade markings right here and this one also kind of has that same feel to it as you can hear it um i don't think this one feels as rough as the uh as the shingo shirt um it just not as much like versus the writing here this is a lot less scratchy as this one Nothing on the back here, but I just thought I just thought I needed another switchblade shirt, so that's what I got. Kip Sabian and Penelope for its Halloween shirt. Um, it's part of the Halloween collection for AW, so I just really liked this one because I thought the colors looked really awesome and it looked really cool. So show you guys it up close. This is what it looks like up close. So it says Kip Sabian with his face with like face paint kind of and then Penelope Ford with all the skeleton markings and light up stuff and it says Penelope Ford with the AW logo. I'm not sure if a black light will work over it because it looks like it is or at least it would glow in the dark but I'm not 100% sure about that. But there's nothing on the back either. Like, yeah, nothing, no logo or anything on the back. And then this one doesn't feel as rough either. There's a couple of spots here like his face and the name. Not so much Penelope, just a little bit here. So I think this one would be, would be alright. I just really liked the colors. Especially since our last Halloween shirt I think was like Jack Skellington and Sally. So I thought this one looked pretty awesome this year. This is one of those shirts where most of the design is actually on the back side, not the front so much. Aussie Open from New Japan. So, 
This is what it looks like from the front. It says Aussie Open here. It actually does feel pretty smooth. Bar barely feels like rough, like like the other shirts we just looked at. I really like comic books. If you've been on my channel for a long time, then you guys know I'm really into uh, comics and all that and reading them. So, and plus it's black and white, and I like black and white colors on stuff a lot more. But, yeah, that's why I wanted it. And then on the back, I'm trying to move it around. Um, this kind of has like that same feel to it, but it doesn't feel super rough compared to, it doesn't feel super rough compared to the other two shirts. Getting this shirt is feeding my brain for constantly having their theme song in my head still. Ozzy, Ozzy, I, 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 just keep doing that. Just, just, you know, don't judge me. Don't judge me for that. Just, <laughs> don't judge me. This is my last one for today. And this one I've been wanting for a pretty good amount of time is Britt Baker's t-shirt here. And I'm gonna show you guys it up close. This is what it looks like. It says Dr. Britt Baker DMD. On the bottom it says Lockjaw with the AEW logo. And then it just has her face and body on it. And if you can see really close too, like her eyes are red, so that's pretty awesome. Yeah, all the skulls behind her pose here. And then on the top it says, first it snaps, then you tap. So it looks like we're far away. And then there's nothing really on the back either, just plain. This one. This one also kind of has like that rough feel to it, like this, but I don't know, the Shingo one felt a little bit much more rougher than this one compared to the other t-shirts, but this one still feels like it has like that kind of rough material to it. You can kind of, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a little bit more stiffer underneath. So I think the Shingo one was pretty stiff underneath it too but just want to let you guys know i hope you guys enjoy what you guys saw if these are still available i will link them down below for you guys so you guys can go find them these ones are all the premium soft unisex version i've actually ordered two micro brawlers from pressing tees but they haven't shipped yet i'll probably put them in a merch out of nowhere video since i don't take them out of package with this one i ordered the wardlow micro brawler but they haven't released it yet so he actually is going to be shipped by himself and then i actually just ordered the mjf joker micro brawler recently so I'll probably put those in one video together halloween's coming up what are you guys doing for halloween i'm excited i can't wait i'm probably gonna watch halloween ends on halloween and i'm going to a halloween party in two days so that's gonna be fun i will talk to you guys later i hope you guys have an awesome day and i will see you guys very soon bye